Borom Palawan is a slow-paced town and it is virtually a tropical paradise. And those visiting are treated to the opportunity to swim in some of the most amazing coral gardens on the planet. However, if you're a certified scuba diver, there's only one thing on your list, and that's to explore the sunken World War II ships off its coastline. And that's exactly what I'll be doing today. Stillness, a serene beauty that can only be found in Koron. The flat sea made our brief ocean cruise enjoyable, and it doesn't get any better than this. But wait, it does. Scuba diving is what Dr. Awesome prescribed, and I am an obedient patient. Corone's coral reefs are nice with a fair amount of diverse species and plenty of fish darting around. Look, there's Nemo! However, it's the artificial reefs that attract most, and they aren't just any sunken ships. You can thank Task Force 38 for obliterating 24 Japanese vessels seeking refuge in Corones Bay. This is a Kogyo Maru. It was a supply ship before the Americans had their way with her. She now rests at a depth of 34 meters. And being the highly intelligent divers we were, everyone forgot their torches this dive. But that insignificant detail didn't derail us from penetrating deeper into the old girl. Yes, we really could have used some torches, but the truth of the matter was I actually preferred it this way. Once out of the Kogyo, we got to play with the fish again, and a lot of them. Our second dive site was the Lusong gunboat. Unlike other wrecks, this sub hunter rests in shallow water, making it ideal for snorkeling enthusiasts. The boat is so shallow, it has a maximum depth of only 12 meters, and in low tide, actually breaches the surface. But snorkeling isn't my thing. I'm here to dive. And with the magic of physics, my camera got an instant zoom upgrade when I descended to the ocean floor. Say hello to Martha, my dive master. She's a fish. No, 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 really. She learned to dive before she could swim. Not all marine life we saw was swimming. Check out this sea cucumber trying to catch a few Zs. We then scampered along like giddy children over the pretty coral formations. Because the wreck is so shallow, it meant our bottom time was virtually unlimited. But even though this experience put a giant smile on my face, this little sponge didn't take too kindly to my filming. Other fish didn't seem to find me that menacing. This was all fine and good, but the Lusong is why we came. Because of its shallow depth, we didn't face the same light limitations as before. However, being so small, it meant this giant Sasquatch holding a mounted camera sometimes found it hard to navigate within. On our way back to the boat, we came across a barrel sponge. Since I had the camera stuck to the end of a long pole, I decided to play Fantastic Voyage and take a closer look inside. Oh, and one more thing. So 
So there you have it, a little look at Caron's famous sunken ships. If you'd like to learn more about how I filmed today's video and information on the destination, please click the link and surf on over to GRanger.com. But what I would like to know is, are you a diver or are planning to become a certified scuba diver? Please leave a comment down below and share your story. Until next time, remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.